Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. <laughs> Miss, Miss Jukes, okay, let's deal with this racist stuff, okay? Miss Jukes, please yeah. define racism. So anyone that wants to divide what? people based on this, their skin color. Is this what the Nation of Islam, is that what they teach, Miss Jukes? Yeah, I think they do. They try to. They try so to propagate. So think they do, right? They do. So it has. Yeah, it has... yeah, yeah. It's only my opinion. I can't go by okay. everything. I'm not so it has say. nothing. Nothing. I'm to not do. saying that I'm. St Listen, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm not standing here saying that I speak for every other white person. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Yes. I can only talk from what I've seen and observed. And mm -hmm. I would say that they are divisive when it comes to race. Yes, they are. Okay. May I respond, Miss Jupes? Yeah, go on. Okay, so you are saying that the Nation of Islam just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, said that white people are just the devil simply because of the color of skin. I'm not saying it out of nowhere. I'm saying over the past five years of, of me knowing Speaker's Corner, I didn't know about the recent episode between Ali Dawa, but mm -hmm. of seeing footage and what they've actually talked about and stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. they're divisive on right. Like what exactly? Give me a specific example. So he would refer to the white race as devils. He would say that if you've got blue eyes, you're demonic. He's actually said this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'd have to go and find the clips, but yeah, he has, yeah. He said There blue, was actually Muslim men that were white. Blue-eyed people are demonic. Hold like on, that. hold on. There was actually a Muslim man mm -hmm. by the name of Jordan that mm -hmm. actually stood up and was offended by it because he was a Muslim. And I don't, I think that... Muslims try to propagate their beliefs on the fact that they're not racist. Mm -hmm. But when you've got a sect or, or a section of a, a religious order mm -hmm. that actually do be divisive on skin colour, then mm -hmm. you can't argue it. You are being racist. And I think that's what Ali Dawa is reacting against. And I'm no fan of Ali Dawa because I think he says the most god-awful, ridiculous stuff as well sometimes. I'm, I'm against the extremists of any form. Okay, Miss Miss Jukes, I can assure you that first of all, that there are a hell of a lot more racists from the Arab community, uh, from the South Asian community, from even of the white community who are Muslims than the Nation of Islam could ever produce if you believe in racism. You based on numbers. Now I asked you specifically to define racism for a purpose. Right. Okay, all right. So for me, hmm? I believe anyone that discriminates on the basis of skin color, right, to other somebody, they're being racist, yeah. So when you when you say discriminate, discriminate how? In any way, shape or form. So any if way, you try so to you elevate consider? yourself Okay. But I'm against whites that are racist too. Mm. If you try to elevate yourself and make out you're a superior race based on skin colour, mm -hmm. you need to give your mindset a check. Your skin colour is only of the material world, and my beliefs Agreed. are more spiritual, and you should be looking at things from a more elevated angle. Agreed, agreed. So we're just only going to deal with your specific definition of racism. You're mm. saying that anybody who discriminates against another race based upon skin color, correct? This is racism. Mm. That's your definition, okay? Yeah, and I think that we've okay. all got that in us to a certain degree, all of us. I don't believe that. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and make it unperfect, by the way. I don't believe that at all, but that's a different story for a different time. But let's go yeah. over the, your definition, okay? And let's, let's weigh it on the scale by the way that you defined it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so would you consider chattel slavery, the chattel slavery that happened against black folk racist? No. Oh, that's not that's not racist. That's not discriminating. That so, it's discriminating. But same... I don't believe it was based on color. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. My friend, Mrs. G, okay, you said that discriminating an, I guess another race, right, based on skin color, <laughs> is racist. Okay, the, uh, he himself was using the Bible in order to explicitly discriminate against the black race and saying that they are the cursed seed of Canaan, which was the fuel which was used by the Spanish and the Portuguese and the, these type of kingdoms to go into Africa, arbitrarily kidnap black folk, send them into their, into their colonies and say that you are now perpetually enslaved specifically because you are black. But that's not racism. Okay. What's racism, what's racism is the nation of Islam, according to you, right, saying that people with blue eyes are devils. That's the racism. But the but 
kidnapping a whole group of West Africans specifically because they are black is not racism. Go ahead, answer. Okay, so when it comes to the Portuguese and people like that, right, I have to admit that I'm not really... I can't understand their mindset. I don't know what motivated them. Do you know what motivated them? When I speak, I speak from a white British point of view. Mm -hmm. And what I see from the white British point of view is that there was Irish slaves that before 1066, there was English slaves. There was, Mm -hmm. it it was more about class Mm -hmm. and a group of narcissists that were Mm -hmm. in elite society Mm -hmm. that took advantage of whoever they could. And they Mm -hmm. soon realized that actually that black people were more able to work in the sun rather than, than white people and that they took advantage of that. And, and I also think that Africa itself are to blame as well because they sold other tribes into slavery, knowing full well that these people were being taken away from their lands. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a lot more complex than just saying it was based on colour. I think it was greed. And okay, I think it, I think it was a disrespect for anybody that wasn't of the elite class. Ms. Juice, the reason why I asked, right, specifically your de- definition of what racism is, so that we, do, we don't have any misunderstanding, okay? Yeah. You said, you said discriminating against another group of people because based upon their colour is racism, right? This one is a no-brainer, to be honest. I asked you if this devilish transatlantic slave trade that happened between the colonizing Europeans and the colonized Africans, was that racism? You said no. And then you could, but you- I don't, okay, shall I tell you why? I don't think the motivation was race. I think the motivation- It wasn't race? Okay, you please tell me when race started. When did, when did the concept of race actually start? Go ahead. Right, so that was in America. And I think no, it, it was wasn't in Egypt, but I could be, But I remember that there was a time after Bacon's revolt where they decided to classify people black slaves and white slaves. The reason for that was to Ms. keep Ms. them separate. Ms. Jubes, it, Ms. Was, it was it was akin to modern day psyops. Miss Jupes, I can assure you that it did not start in, in America. Okay, so tell me where did it start? It started in Spain. Okay. Okay. It started in Spain, and it started specifically because of the visitation of Europeans and Africans, with Africans. What do you mean? The the concept of race. There was no such word of race before the Spanish Inquisition at the end of, at the tail end of the 15th century. No, nobody ever heard of this concept of race. Okay, so explain, elaborate, because I don't know about this. Yes, I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying to explain to you, right? So, so during the Inquisition, the Spanish came up with this concept of the pure blood. Right, meaning that your grandmother and your grandfather from both your mother's side and your father's side is called the race. I've right? never heard of this before. I know that's that's what I'm telling you. Okay. All right. So but at any rate, okay. What was happening during the Spanish Inquisition, I'm not quite sure if you know, but the Muslims ruled Spain for eight hundred years. We we know who the Muslims were because they were black. Okay, there were the more. Okay, yeah. during the Inquisition, right when the with the rise of uh, Catholicism and whatnot, they made sure to kick out these Muslims and okay, can and I ask force. A question. Let no, I finish. need to. Let me please. finish. You okay, have to let okay. me finish, Mr. Jubes. Okay. So at any rate, many Jews converted into Christianity in okay. order to mix in with the Spanish society. They were the first ones to use this term race. Okay. And the reason why they they reason why racism became a thing because they were racing for the resources, the the land, and the wealth of the new world. Okay, that's what I call it. Last, it's an actual race. It's an actual race for economics. So in the system of race, the white race is on the top, and the black race is on the bottom. There is no such thing as racism before this era, before this period. So when you are talking about the Irish slaves from Britain, you are talking about a system of slavery which has nothing to do with the devilish chattel slavery of black people. That system of slavery was known as indentured servitude. Was no, was going on with black folk was called chattel slavery. What is the difference? Indentured servitude and servants had rights. They could buy their freedom. They could own land. They could get married. Chattel slaves have zero rights. Anything of wealth that they bring goes directly to the slave master. Their children are born 
into slavery. This system has never existed as a, as a system of slavery before in history. That was the first time that has, has ever existed was with the European transatlantic slave trade. So okay, when so I, can again, I can I respond? I've let you speak, Ian. Go ahead, Mr. Let me speak. So number one, I didn't know about the Russell. So I am speaking for ignorance, and I, I'd mm. have to check all that. And I'm not doubting you, mm -hmm. but without knowledge, I can't say, yeah, you're definitely right. From the little I know, right, that it, it's not to do with race. It's to do with people taking advantage of people. And unfortunately, there were people on the continent of Africa that were willing to take advantage of other tribes, right? Now, I'm not saying that they were worse than the people buying them. No, because to some extent, the people that were buying them knew that they were taking them into slavery. When you speak of servitude, right, mm -hmm. there was a lot of people, even though on paper it looked like, okay, they were being treated different. The truth is, in reality, they weren't, because most people died before they could even buy themselves out of slavery. Stop it. Get some help. Quarters. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Mm -hmm. Sleeping in the same quarters. They were, they were being treated with the same punishments. White people got lynched as well if they were slaves. And they were treated with the same disdain. And as a white woman, I take great offence, especially in the Americas, that white women weren't allowed to choose who they wanted to marry. Oh, my God! Wow! If they wanted to marry a black man, hold on. If they wanted to marry a black man, they should have been allowed to. But if, what happened was that if you weren't born of slavery and you were white, and you mm -hmm. chose to marry a black man that was a slave, to agree and sign up to a lifetime of slavery. You had to agree to actually take away your status to marry the man that you love. And I think that that is disgusting. A black woman wasn't told. That they were told that if they married up into a slave owner, that they were allowed to step up into that status. Whereas the only people that were not allowed to choose who they married was a white woman. So it depends on what perspective you come from, because I believe in freedom of choice. I believe in, in my speech and I believe that, yes, people were taken advantage, but it wasn't only one group that had the social fucking construct stuck on them. It, it was several groups and it all depends on what angle you come from. I'm married to a Nigerian Miss man that I adore. Hold on. That I adore. I see as my equal. I don't look down on him. And the mm -hmm. fault that if I lived 150 years ago, or ago, whenever all this stuff was being in, because even the lovings was up to 90s, right? Now, mm -hmm. That I couldn't marry the man that I loved because his skin was a different colour to me. It's mm -hmm. an absolute disgusting, outright, outrageous act. And it shouldn't have even been lawful in the first place. The, the, the position that you're coming from is not the position that I'm coming from at all, period. I'm coming from a position of, of things that I actually know. For a fact, the, the point that you said about you, you're disgusted about the white woman not being able to be, get married to the man that she loves. For, well, some, for the black folks that are actually watching and they know actually the actual history of slavery, right now they're, they're laughing at you. And the reason why they're laughing is because you are so upset with this white woman who can't marry the man of his choice, not knowing that not only did the black woman not have autonomy over her children she didn't have autonomy over her own body period i agree that's disgusting it's it's madam, madam i let you speak let me speak okay so you mm. are worried about the white woman not being married to her one white husband and not having the right to see here's a funny thing right no not white husband or, black husband so i'm her actually is, hold on, madam hold you on. have to let me finish i let you go you have to let me yeah, finish. Go on, go on then. okay all right so miss jupes i strongly advise you to read this book here at any rate, you were talking about the white woman not being able to marry the man that she loves if she is black. This right here outlines the historical events of women, white women who own slaves during this particular period. Yeah, but I'm not talking about white women that own slaves. I'm talking Ma about Madam, white women. Madam, you have to let me finish. I, I, I didn't even finish my premise. point. I let you speak, and I let you finish, and then you... Okay, when I'm, go on. I will come back on you. Go on. So at any rate, from this, we get a whole lot of information concerning the this poor white woman not being able to marry the man that she loves okay from this information we get that the the origin of feminism is actually because white women did not have the ability to own two things during the tr slave trade you know what it was do you know what it was that white women to have have the opportunity to own these poor white women who can't marry no i'm waiting for you to tell me 
they could not own the land that they had and they could not own the slaves that they owned because whenever they got married, these poor white women who got married to this white man, they now became the property of the men. This is a strictly European phenomenon. And up until this day, when the white woman gets married, she takes on the last name of her man. I still believe in that, yeah. Okay, up until this very day. So white women used to go to a thing called chancery courts in order to do what? These poor white women. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? These poor white women who couldn't marry the Negroes of their choice, all right, went to chancery courts in order to fight these white men, not for their black loves, but for the ownership of their slaves. The the freedom of a white woman was based upon the enslavement of the black woman. Okay. And what precedent did they put that on? And still, right, according to Miss, right, the nation of Islam calling the blue-eyed person a devil is racist. But the chattel slavery that happened to black folk isn't. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>